Okay, this is uh, a viewer request. Um, I don't know how well this video is going to go. I have done a similar video to this with all my sports jerseys. Now I'm just focusing on one particular team. Um, it's a part of a request. It's a two-part request. So we're we're doing our best now. We'll start with the newest, and we'll go to the the rare stuff. Now I'm a Bracknell Bees fan. You may have watched a lot of my videos. Some some people have commented you are hockey fans. They have seen me wearing my jerseys. I have a Swindon Wildcats fan who's a subscriber, which is a weird, weird choice because they are the current enemy as Guildford are no longer in our league. So we're going to start with this season's anniversary jersey, which is a one-off because they are changed the logo back. This is the home white, as you can see, it's got the original B on it, um, the original logo. That's the league we're now in, which is the National Ice Hockey League. We're in Division 1 South. Uh, there's the names of it, I just give up remembering the nothing's the Morley Division. And there's the anniversary logo. Now you've obviously seen this back the front because I'm recording this. But it's a nice, I, I reasonably like the striping. I don't like obviously all the sponsors, but we need as many sponsors as possible to keep the, the sport going in this country because, well, British ice hockey has money problems, but it's my nice little jersey. I like it. Um, I wear it often. It is what it is. Let's just throw that up. Now this is last year's Black Home jersey. Uh, Again, this is from the last year of the English Premier League. Notice the normal logo. It's meant to be a B, it looks like a frigging wasp. And um, But yeah, there's the old logo, the old league logo. Uh, we do have a lot of charities that we do associate with, including the ABF, which is close to my personal, I have some personal interest in that, due to my father being an ex-serviceman when he was alive. But yeah, there's, obviously, again, the striping's very similar. Logo's bigger. This is last year's one, it's the last English Premier League one, which is a sad that the English Premier League's gone. It may reform, but we shall have to see. And that's that's my two ones that I regularly wear the games. Because they're they're quite common, they're easy to replace, they're easy to look after. A better design fabric. Now we get on to the rare ones. Here is the last one left of the shop because it was donated to the shop. 15th anniversary jersey. Now, again, there's the original logo, and that's what they would have worn in the Super League era. You've got the sponsorship has just started to come in because money's starting to dry up in the Super League at the time. Uh, this is the 2002, so this is two years after we were the country's best. We're still at the top, we're still doing well in playoffs, we're still doing really well. Uh, the crazy striping design, as you can see. But yeah, that's uh, that's that one. Um, Sports Club, loud and proud. And uh, yeah, a lot of the sponsors on here. We didn't even have a Subway in Bracknell at the time, but we're sponsored by Subway now. That's interesting. Uh, this is when the league was still fully professional and most teams in the UK were fully professional and could pay their players professional wages. Uh, it's not the case anymore. But now we get on to the pièce de résistance and the money I pay for this went straight into the Orchid Cancer Trust, so the charity that we have an agreement with, big charity, and it is original Super League match-worn jersey worn by Mr Ellis. Oh yes. There's the logo, match-worn. There is some battle damage. If you look on the sleeve, where it's actually been slashed up in a fight, there are some blood stains on the jersey that are about 20 years old from a fight. And to prove that it is the real deal, there's his signature, and there's his name and number. Now, I spent, I'm not going to say how much money I spent, but all the money went to a good cause for this jersey. Um, it supports a charity that a lot of people um, have an interest in. And the cause that it's for, that I pay the money for, um, it does so much good because it's the orchid cancer charity um, is there to help find a cure for male cancers. Uh, now, the female cancers get a lot of press, like breast cancer, things like that, and obviously lots of celebrities have suffered from it, and lots of important people, and they get a lot of. Uh, but, Male cancers such as prostate cancer and testicular cancer, um, they're a bit. I don't know if it's more taboo or, but the survival rates are less, and sadly this this season a Bracknell Beast man has died of a brain tumor. He was a young lad. He was in his early twenties. I did know him not very well, but I did know who he was. Um, he was from the next estate down, um, and so it brought added significance to the charity match in just after Christmas between the Brother of the Bees and the Hornets. So yeah, there, there's my Bracknell Bees jerseys. I do have other jerseys, I'm not doing a video on them. I've done a video on them in the past. I have some more jerseys coming that have been ordered, but again, I'll do another video on them at a later date. 
I just thought, you know, this is explaining why. Now I'll explain why I enjoy ice hockey. It's because of this team. It's because that my local rink is a 20 minute walk from my house. That way, literally. Um, it's because I've been going to see these guys train and play since I was three years old. I've had mates play for the youth teams. I watch as many home games as possible. I haven't missed a home game yet this season apart from the charity match because I was working at the time. And I wear those jerseys with pride. Every Saturday and Sunday there's a game on. I haven't been able to do as many as away games as I would have liked. Logistics is a bit of a killer when you don't drive it. It's hard to get to several of the rinks that in our league. Um, there are one or two rinks that I can do. And I'm happy to go see games at. But there is my Bracknell Bees jersey collection. I did have a couple more. They have um, been given away to um, people that I know. Um... One is at my mate's memorial where he unfortunately passed away a year and a half ago. And the other one is with someone uh, up in Cambridge um, who now I want back off, but I won't be able to get it um, for reasons. But the love of the sport came from my father, who was a sports fanatic himself. He used to play non-league football. Uh, he was in the army. He used to go to Canada on these NATO training exercises uh, once a year um, when he was not deployed overseas on active duty. And they're in Alberta, and the British Army has a big connection with Calgary and Edmonton and sending on the combined exercises out in the wilderness. And uh, obviously, Calgary and Edmonton are two of the, the greatest NHL franchises of the 80s in the Flames and the Oilers. So obviously my dad would have, would have seen some hockey-based stuff. And when I was a kid growing up in the early 90s, we used to watch the ESPN together. We would come home on leave. And that's where my love of hockey started from. And I grew up idolising what were then the Winnipeg Jets, uh, the true underdog story. Um, and hence why I have an Arizona Coyotes tattoo on me, and hence why I have a Jets 2.0 jersey, as I call it. Um, that's where my love of the, the sport comes from. Um, but yeah, there's my jerseys. There's my Brattle Beast jersey collection. It will grow. There will be more added to that as time goes on. I have other hockey memorabilia. I mean, look, I even have, even though I don't drive, I've got uh, the old stick that in the back of your car window little jersey. And I've got my scarf, which occasionally gets warm when it's really cold out. And some, some of the rinks we go to uh, have really bad dehumidifiers and get really cold because the money's drying up in British ice hockey at the lower levels. But that is... Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. This is a bit more of a personal one. It is actually slightly to do with a fan request. Um, I did have a subscriber write into me last night on an unrelated video. It was on a rugby video. And he's a Swindon Wildcats fan, as I said. And he basically wants me to do a review of a Wildcats Bees game. There isn't one for about a month. But uh, as a part of this, that, I thought I'd do a little jersey review. Um, and here's my collection. Uh, I have done other ones. I have got my, my Jets one in there in my cupboard and I have got uh, my signed Canadian uh, national jersey which uh, again I've done a video on that before it is in my other sport playlist if you are interested it is in there this this is a bit more personal because each of these jerseys means something to me in some way uh, and there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.